My name's Toby Dagg and I'm the Executive Manager of Investigations at the Safety Commissioner. Um, I also sit as Vice President on the Board of InHope uh, and I've been working in the area of online content investigations for about eight years. Uh, the InHope network is made up of 46 hotlines around the world and those hotlines all work together to take rapid action against child sexual exploitation material that's hosted in their countries. And in 2020, the network handled more than a million items of media, and those items of media were taken down in 75% of cases within three days. So an example of how InHope works to help harmful content be removed probably is best uh, shown in an example from a number of years ago where we had a 15 year old Australian girl who had contacted us to let us know that intimate material that showed her in a state of undress was being shared on websites. And despite her best efforts, those websites hadn't responded to her. Uh, we found that those websites were hosted in an InHope country uh, and we contacted that hotline, shared the information with them, told them about what this Australian uh, girl had told us about the circumstances, her age, and they were able to work with their industry partners in their country to have that material taken down very quickly. The presence of child sexual exploitation material online is a source of ongoing trauma for survivors and victims. Uh, and in fact, one of the most important things that we do through our work is have that material taken down to alleviate that trauma. Victims are constantly concerned about being recognised by people who've seen their abuse material and in fact in about one in five cases that happens. If I was a parent in those uh, shoes of parents who know that their children have been exploited online, uh, the knowledge that there was a way for that material to be taken down rapidly and removed from the internet permanently would be a source of huge comfort. The dangers that young people face online are growing. And we've found that in our research, uh, young people are more likely to be contacted by a stranger now than ever before. The Online Safety Act will further protect children by allowing us to keep pace with technology. So it's not just hosting services anymore that's the focus of the Act, but we'll be able to take action against child sexual exploitation material that's provided by websites and social media services and messaging services. And that's true no matter where the content is hosted. It doesn't need to be hosted here in Australia anymore or provided from Australia, but it can be provided from overseas and we can issue removal notices. It gives us a chance to work more closely as well with our law enforcement partners partners so that we can take a much greater whole of government approach to dealing with child sexual exploitation material provided online. The Online Safety Act will also help protect children online by introducing a set of basic online safety expectations. And we really see those basic online safety expectations as being used to drive up industry standards right across the board, particularly where it comes to the safety of children online. My one message about keeping children safer online is Understand how your children are using technology. So co-play, sit with them while they're using apps. Make sure that for particularly uh, younger children, those apps and uh, devices are being used in parts of the house which are visible and you can see what they're doing. But most of all, engage in a dialogue with your children and a conversation about how they're using technologies and what they're experiencing online.